This is our moving platform. We have an almost eight foot long platform, just narrow enough to fit between two eight foot, or between eight foot walls. Um, and what we did here is we built it on a couple of plywood rails. We have four inch rubber casters on one side, a left and a right. And on the other side, we have four inch, I don't know what they call these. They're kind of like railroad wheels. You would see them on the gate for uh, exiting a, a parking structure or something like that. And after I bought those, kind of, kind of expensive, just put them on some L brackets from Home Depot that are six feet long. Uh, then I went and bought a winch at Harbor Freight for uh, 1,500 pounds. It's the only one that they had that had uh, plug into the wall. Everything else was for vehicles. So essentially, as you entered this room right over here, you'd walk up a ramp up to the 20 inch height that we have as our sort of customary platform. You'd hop onto the platform and it would roll. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on board and then we will uh, see that. All right, so here's the guest view as you were walking up the platform. In the dark, you couldn't even tell this was a moving platform. It just looked like a continuation of, uh, of the hallway. We have a mirror off to the side here. Hello. It's a little dirty now because all the rainwater has come in. Once you got in, a lot of people would come up and would try and push the door. That was really just our applause to make sure they get to the end of the platform because we want them to be at the end of the platform. Let me close that so that uh, it properly pulls since we only have the cable on one side. Go ahead if you can push me. And it takes seven seconds to do that. So basically we could move through every 14 seconds. It would take a little bit longer obviously because you gotta get everybody off. But that's what would happen. Okay, so the power just went out. I was running too many lights at once and the winch and a fogger. That was awesome. All right, so can we send it back now? Go ahead and send it back. Again, take seven seconds. You'll notice you, I'm using a compound. Uh, essentially, it wasn't going fast enough for the speed of the winch that I wanted. So I, I, uh, I attached the top portion of that to the platform. I attached the bottom portion to the back end of the, the wall. And now the, the winch basically goes twice as fast. It was, it was about double that speed, or sorry, half that speed previously. Um, kind of crazy, if you'll notice right here, there's a bunch of metal filings. We got to the point where, at one point, the bolt actually sheared off on that. We were pulling so much weight all the time, this bolt sheared off halfway through our second night. And my son really quickly, Jerry Rigged, found another bolt, put it on. Um, and we were able to make it work and continue on for the rest of the night. So, lessons learned. I would put the cable in the center, not on one edge. I'd buy more of those wheels, even though they're rather expensive, and put a second rail on the other side instead of just rubber. Um, and I'd make it as short a distance as possible. Our very first night that we ran, we ran at nine feet. We actually went from the far wall over there. This started at the far wall, and then we moved all the way over to here. But we actually modified the, we whole, modified the whole room. The entrance, instead of being this opening here, was that opening the first night, and this was a solid wall. We swapped it so that you only had to travel four feet so we could get our throughput up. Uh, we increased about 200 people total over the course of the night by doing that. So anyway, that is my build for uh, how I made a moving platform. Again, just a simple winch. Oh, and I was just reminded one last thing is how did the winch actually pull it back? You'll notice down in the corner there's a rope and that rope is attached around a couple of pulleys that go up and over. On the other side of this wall there's a five gallon paint bucket full of paint that is pulling the empty platform back after riders have been on it. So really we're pulling them forward with the winch and the counterweight of the paint bucket is pulling them back. So it's not strong enough to actually have people on it to ride backwards but it is strong enough to pull it against the, the winch and that's why you see it kind of sag as we go down. Anyway, just wanted to mention that. Hope you enjoyed Haunted Shack 2017 with my uh, moving platform build and man I can't wait to figure out how to use this again for another year. And uh, if you haven't seen it, go check out the video on the uh, pneumatic lifting bed.